Go on, Ingo. You can go on. Chief, move me there. I'll reach. Uh, this should be far enough. Uh, Chief, they've found us. Oh, it's getting so a man can't even catch his fucking breath. Gentlemen, a word. We understand you've been selling some crisps. And like I told you, thieving mates, you're not fucking getting them. So you could take your massive sword and shove it. I'm sure I could, but we're not thieves. Over here. I can smell the one who shat himself. Um, if you've got a plan, Chief, tell us you've got a plan. Of course I've got a bloody plan. Good things and all that. Let's start again, shall we? You say you're interested in the crystal trade? Not exactly. In actual fact, we were hoping to talk about this. Is that all? Well, then I know just how to help. If you're after the short shifter, he's over here! Are you mad? <sighs> Slippery little pricks. Clinkers on the ground, quick as you like. Gentlemen, you've got it all wrong. Do we look like merchants? He's the one you want. Just look at what he's got in his hand. What? Him? Wait, I'm not. <sighs> Do let us know if you need any more help. <laughs> they won't get far, Clive. No, but they'll wish they had. I'll carb you like a suckling pig and feed you to your fucking dog! Kind of you to think of him. Did you see which way they went? North. Making for three reeds at a guess. After them. If they reach the swamps, we'll never pick up their trail. There was something odd about those three. They seemed less like merchants and more like... Charlatans? One might argue that a merchant is more than a mama without him. Then why am I not amused? You're finished!
What did he find, boy? Clive, judging by the state of the ground, a lot more passed this way than our three charlatans. Another group of bandits? <sighs> I doubt they'd leave this crystal behind. Regardless, we're on the right track. Let's pick up the pace. Fuck. Persistent bastards, I'll give them that. Friends, I knew those louts would all match for you. But of course you did. Because you know what we're capable of, don't you? Now, you deal in crystal. Dusk crystal. And we want to know where you got it. So you're going to tell us. Let's assume for a moment that we are the merchants you're looking for. Why would we tell you where we procure our stock? What kind of shepherd needs a wolf straight to you? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Are they getting worse? Clive, the tower. Well, that's new. That's impossible. Yeah, hey, Chief, do you think someone else got into the tower? Quiet, you daft sort. And what would they find there if they did? I... I wouldn't know. I've never been there. Echoes, maybe? Or fallen rubbish? I really couldn't say. The entrance is sealed tight. No way in. And how would you know that? If you've never been there? I... Uh... Look! Behind you! An Akashic monster! If you think I'm going to fall for another one of your cheap tricks... Clive, trouble. What? Oh.
Well, that was ill-timed. But at least we know what was chasing the merchants. <sighs> That's twice we've saved them now. enough of bandits and beasts, Chief. Can't we just go home and let those thieving pricks march in and take what's ours? What's ours? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you don't mean the Dusk Crystal's eye. Halleck, Marnik, we're going back to that tower if it's the last thing we do. But the lights, Chief. What about the lights? Ah. Uh, first you whine about it being too dark, then you whine about it being too light. Think about how easy it'll be to mine now. And you're sure they're bound for the tower? When they aren't running away from trouble, they're running towards it. Do you know anything of the place, Joshua? Alas, not. I have seen it labelled Sage Spire on some maps, but beyond that, the ruins are no different from any other fallen derelict. Another impenetrable relic of the past. Not so impenetrable, apparently. Our friends plainly found a way in. They could be living there, like we do in the Invincible. Well, the tower is unquestionably large enough to hide three merchants. But is it large enough to hide what we seek? A mother crystal. It would go some way to explain why the area was among the first in Rosaria to fall to the Blight. Then it's settled. We head to Eastpool and make our approach from the Dim. To think there could have been a mother crystal. Here in Rosaria all this time. The wars that could have been avoided. We still don't know what's in there, Clive. But whatever it is, there is a good reason it has gone unnoticed for so long. The tower sits atop a jagged ridge. Few have ever had occasion to pick their way through the rocks, even before the blight swallowed them. Heavens have gone to wreck and ruin it, don't mean we have to. Now, let's get this done, sir. I'll build a barricade so sturdy, even the bad. Yeah. 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 
No idea what it meant. That's it. Ice board. Shouldn't we at least have warned them? Goblins. What are they doing in the Deadlands? Look at what they're carrying. I don't recall ever hearing of goblins using fallen relics as weapons. Well, they certainly are welcoming gifts. Clive, remember where we are. No magic. Right. They're even uglier up close. Let's hope that was the last of them. Indeed. I'd almost forgotten what it was like to have to rely on steel alone. Clive? Jill? You may want to see this. What?
it was open when I found it. Someone was in a hurry. Three guesses as to who. Then this must be their way into the tower. There's only one way to find out. 